Hi, this is Amy with ResonateRockstar.com, and I'm here with Tony. Hello. Of Iron Reagan. We're at Guarbecue. Uh, what do you guys got coming up? Uh, we have a set set coming up in a couple <laughs> hours. <laughs> we have about um, 20 songs coming up yeah. in 18 minutes. In 18 minutes. That's, we're try that, that's our goal is to bust 20 songs you, out in 18 minutes. Are you guys playing on the main stage or the second the stage? The little guy. The little playing, stage. Playing the little guy. Second stage of Guarbecue. And this is like a water park here. So have you guys been in the water yet? I've been here for years. The, the owner of this property is a, a good friend of mine. Yeah, but have you gone in the water today yet? Mm, fuck no. <laughs> Are there any plans? I'll probably, jump, I'll probably jump in after we play. I think we should both I gotta jump work, in. I got to work a sweat. Uh, I'll jump in yeah. with you. Right That'll on. be fun. I got my trunks. <laughs> I'm wearing my trunks. I'll video it. So, we'll what's going on? We'll hold hands and jump in. It'll be great. We'll, yeah, skip, we'll so skip and then... Yeah, I want to ride one of those bikes into the water. That'd be awesome. I can arrange that. My, good friend, my good friend set that up too. Yeah, let's do it. We're Richmond, man. Um, We're all everybody in Richmond's intertwined together. It's like a big family, just Absolutely. like in Colorado. So, really is. What, what do you guys have coming up as far as music goes? Is there an album in the works? Uh, what, what's going on? Iron Reagan, the Tyranny of Will is dropping in a couple weeks. Um, it's one of my favorite records I've ever done. Awesome. And I'm excited. And we're gonna play some shows. And we're gonna get, get our ass out there again. Yeah. Never stops. I mean, we were just talking about an artist that you have working for you, right? Yeah, uh, Sam Turner from Denver. Fucking, we got a lot of Denver love, man. De uh, Dead Temple and Speed Wolf. Um, those are our fucking people, man. What's That's up, our guys? fucking heart. Love those guys. <laughs> love those guys and gals. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're from Denver, and we had to come all the way up here just for this because we couldn't miss out on all of our uh, favorite bands playing a barbecue oh. and saying goodbye to, to Odorous. Um, as far as, like... Growing up around the Guar family is in the music industry, what is some of the things that you have brought away from them that you've learned from them? Uh, they pretty much taught me how to tour and how to be a musician. <laughs> pretty much everything I've done in my life as far as like um, everything I've wanted to do. I don't know. That's a weird thing. That's kind of a heavy thing to say, but like um, those dudes fucking taught me how to tour. They taught me how to be semi-professional and they... Uh, taught me how to have a positive attitude no matter like what's going on the worst fucking case scenario you know and it, uh yeah we we came up with those dudes like i don't know the past 10 years i've spent a lot of time with those guys and i have the utmost respect and love for them right on yeah it seems like uh, everybody has a similar story when it comes to guar that they helped a lot of people come up in the music business gave a lot of people their first shot and uh, i think there's something really really remarkable about that when you look at it that they, a bunch they gave, of they gave municipal waste that... they gave municipal waste our first shot they gave iron reagan our first shot yeah they, they were the ones that took us out always it, it's amazing to hear all these people telling everybody that they learned so much from this band this band that was considered you know a joke in the beginning and people didn't take them seriously and now awesome. they've come all this way and they've taught so many people so many things yeah um so what is some of the best advice that you could give somebody starting out let's pass some of this knowledge on uh starting out i would say um just okay, just expect cool. to never make money if you're playing music you're just going to be broke for the rest of your life it's and uh, accept it and do what you love yeah. and uh if you if you're if you're thinking that you're going to be a fucking you know rock star and make a lot of money then you're in it for the wrong reasons and if you play with your heart and have a good time that's all that fucking matters that's right it's all about heart and family and doing what you love yeah keeping the music alive and uh spreading it to a new generation there's Keep also poop things i would talk to you about too poop things. there are pointers when you tour that you have to like just learn how no to hover certain ways yeah, no Can't shitting on the bus no solids no solids no whenever solids. somebody goes in the bathroom everybody in the bus goes, no solids there's like a new person on the bus <laughs> So don't poop on the bus. No pooping on the bus. Any other two? I had to bring in a poop joke there. We're getting a little too serious. Yeah. You guys realize that I wore a black on black shirt in 110 degree weather? This is the drummer, Ryan Paris of Ryan Reagan. Hi, Ryan. We call him, we call him Ryan Reagan. So Are you drunk? You know, I'm going to go over there. <laughs> Are you drunk? Are you going to have a drunk set tonight? Yep. You need white. Are you ready for the concert? Yep. <laughs> Get your whites on. <laughs> he's never been to a Guar he's show a, before. Yeah, he's to wear a white shirt. It's hot as fuck. Or a red one. Right, right? Yeah. Slayer. Yeah. Well, awesome. We're looking forward to seeing you guys in Denver and uh, and checking you out today on the uh, the small stage, the second stage. Is it really that small? Um, I it's, it. it's a it's a a snug atmosphere. A snug atmosphere. Uh, awesome. Sensual atmosphere. You guys will be all sweaty and hot. Okay, it's my turn. You ready? 
All right, cool. <laughs> right, stay here, stay here. Okay. What's going on now? Hi, Tony Foresta here with Metal Injection. I'm going to interview the person that just interviewed me. Stay your name, please. I am Amy from ResidentRockstar.com. How did you feel about the interview that you just did? I think it sucked balls. Sucked balls, why is that? I don't know, because we weren't smoking weed. Weren't smoking weed, that's very unprofessional of you. Let's talk more about weed. 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 I came from Colorado. Colorado, it's free there, apparently. It's free pretty weed. pretty fucking free there, yeah. We can just walk around, smoke weed wherever we want. And Richard, if you do that, they will just choke you. They'll, people will they'll come take up your to weed you away. And choke you and take it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this interview. This has been an interview. It's an interview in an interview. It's fucking Inception. Smoke weed. It's like weed. a fucking Christopher Nolan movie. With smoke weed every day. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> That was oh, awesome. You just got inception. You totally just kamikaze me. High five. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you.